Hello, and thank you for watching. We're doing a short little message on Satan's ministers of righteousness. Okay, we're in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. We'll start out with verse, verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom ye have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Three points there. They're preaching another Jesus another spirit, and another gospel. Okay, The gospel that we preach is 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 and 4. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That's the gospel that we preach. And it's received as a free gift. Salvation is received as a free gift. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay? It's a free gift. You receive it. There's no works involved. Now, Satan's ministers of righteousness were back in 2 Corinthians 11, starting with verse 13. Now, here's how Satan's ministers of righteousness, this is how they operate. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Okay? Satan's ministers of righteousness can, transfer, can, can transform themselves as the ministers of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose ends shall be according to their works. Okay? I just read you exactly what it said. The reason that's not us is because our end is not according to our works. I quote you the verse from Ephesians 2, 8, 9, just a few seconds ago. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves uh, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Right here, this says their end is according to their works. My end is not according to my works. My end is according to Christ's works. I receive the gospel freely. It said, ministers of righteousness whose ends shall be according to their works. We have a righteousness which answers the demands of God's law and justice by the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ. We get his righteousness transferred to us freely. We don't have to do any work to continue this receiving this righteousness. It's transferred to us forever. Uh, eternal life is eternal. If you can terminate it, then it's not eternal. There's people out there that say that you must do some kind of work to be saved or do some kind of work to remain saved. And that's a false gospel. The Bible said, in the, in the beginning of that chapter, it talked about they're preaching another Jesus. That's not the Jesus we preach. They're preaching another spirit. That's not the spirit we preach. They're preaching another gospel. We preach a gospel of salvation that's free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. And that's, that's the rubber stamp. That's the trademark of Satan's ministers of righteousness, that you've got to do some kind of work to either get saved or to remain saved. And it's gotten a lot more deceptive these days. They even say that if you lose your faith, that you were not saved to begin with. So they say, if you lose your faith, okay? Faith produces works. It's just getting more trickier. And what they do, they say you were not saved to begin with, okay? Uh, like if somebody gets saved and then maybe a year later, they're having some problems. Uh, they, they fell or, or something's happened. Uh, people, people say, oh, they were just not saved to begin with. That's not right at all. They're still saved. If they got saved, they're still saved. When you get saved, you get spiritually circumcised. The body of the sins of the flesh is cut away from your soul. And your soul never sins again. The flesh might sin, but the soul never sins. That's spiritual circumcision. You know, when you get physically circumcised, it never grows back. Never grows back. Never, ever, ever grows back. And when you get spiritually circumcised... It's the same way. It never, the soul never reattaches back to the flesh. It's, it's separated forever. And so Satan's ministers of righteousness, they, they preach works. Their ends according to their works. In other words, you got to do this, you got, or you got to do that. You got to do something to stay saved. Okay? All right, this has been just a little introduction to Satan's ministers of righteousness. Hope it's been a blessing to you. Thank you very much for watching.